In this video, we're going to look at uh, how to insert a book into our database. Now, inserting a book is a little more complicated than inserting an author because an author, as we recall, is, uh, is independent of a book. In other words, you can have an author in the database without a book, but you cannot have a book without an author. So that has implications for the user interface. How do we get the user to input the author of a book? Because the author has to be already existing in the, in the database. So we do this by uh, firstly creating a form. So we're going to create a new JFrame form. We'll call this one add book. And it's created, as you can see on the on the left side here in my Project Explorer. It's actually in the wrong uh, package. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it to the school library package and click on the refactor button. It's important whenever you are renaming, deleting, moving things around to refactor them because they, then you are uh, giving NetBeans the responsibility of making sure that all dependencies that are related to that particular item are also changed. All right, so we refactored that. Now to make the form to insert a book. So let's start by inserting some labels. There's a label for title, a label for edition, and a label for author. All right, so for title and uh, edition, we'll use text fields, pretty standard stuff. But for the author, what do we use? The best thing to use in this case is a drop-down list. And we make drop-down lists in Java using a combo box. So we put in a combo box. We'll bind the data to the author's data, uh, database table. So let's start by fixing up these labels. Title. All right, so we have title, edition, and author. Let's fix this, these up. As you can see, I'm not putting a lot of emphasis on the look and feel at this stage. And ideally, it would be pre preferable to name these text fields as well as your buttons, you know, with some name that's more meaningful than just uh, J text field one and J text field two, etc. All right, remove the default text. Make it a bit wider. Do the same here. Click, control click, and same width. Let's align them. Select all, align them to the center. Very good. Maybe we should make this wider. And lastly, we add a button. Change the text on the button to insert. Almost ready to go. Just one last thing, and that is to bind this drop down list with the author's. Uh, table. So whenever you uh, have, uh, you open the app, it must show you a list of the authors that exist in the database. So to do this is fairly simple. Right click, bind elements. All right. So we say import data to form from the library database and authors, and we OK that. Now what's going to happen is Whenever we run the program, whichever author is in the database is going to appear on this uh, on the drop-down list, and then we can click on the author and uh, select the author for uh, inserting into the database with the book. Okay, so far so good. We've made our form, and now we need to create the handler for this uh, form. We'll do this in the next video.